qui vous fait rire What's making you laugh <rire> why, why did you... Il est content d'être là. Merci. Terrific Tech Tuesday. Yes, it's terrific today. It's nice to see you. This <laughs> of course. Because uh, Apple has unveiled two new phones. There's iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. And this is going to make them at least go higher or ahead of Samsung, which had some failures recently with the Galaxy Note 7. Its batteries exploded. Over the la hey, wait, last Samsung few weeks, was not a failure. <laughs> it, it is a failure because the number of the, the phones exploded and now they're trying to do new ones. But the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, which was unveiled last Wednesday, has some superb qualities. It has stereo, it also is water and dust resistant, and also the main selling point is the camera. The iPhone 7 has a single camera with a six element wide angle while the iphone 7 plus has a dual camera set up with both the wide angle and a telephoto lens enabling two times optical zoom and i'm sure photo lovers like hanan here like, i see a lot of pictures of you on instagram well the thing is uh, i see the <laughs> no, but also has a lot of photos on instagram but with, with this uh, new iphone 7 and iphone 7 plus pictures are going to be clearer because Apple has decided to make the light, the bright, the brightness, 50% uh, more than the previous iPhone 6 and iPhone 6X. Also, uh, the, the pictures are much clearer than before. Its flash is 50 times brighter, a feature which Samsung has mastered. And sorry to say that the front camera of the iPhone is not any different from the previous ones, which will make selfies very difficult to take because it will not be clear. I take selfies with my iPhone 6. About, let me tell you about one thing. We were, ha we were having this argument earlier, uh -huh. and I was uh, telling Hanan that when you decide to support one thing, and one thing alone without giving an uh, idea to the next thing, the, the the, the level of geekiness and knowledge on operating systems si is a little bit not known. Si vous, si vous répondre, if you allow me to iPhone, respond, je suis, je you used the iPhone. But okay, you, you, that's have true. To, you have to have a taste of Samsung but, or any other device, exactly. and I'm sure you see how and that's, uh, exactly. For me, it's that's impossible. What I'm you to do. Don't stick to one thing. Try, a, try an Android phone. <laughs> Everyone has its taste. Advantage of the new iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 mm -hmm. Plus. The difference or the disadvantage is that there is no fast charging, as mm -hmm. Samsung has and as rumors went about. Also, there is no headphone jack, hence the new AirPods. I don't know if you've heard about AirPods. AirPods, AirPods are AirPods that use Bluetooth to connect, and it comes with an adapter. No, they're using infrared, I think. They're using Bluetooth, Bluetooth as well. Bluetooth and uh, yes, Bluetooth sans, and infrared, sans, the same sans, thing, sans yeah. Fil, sans connection. You, we, it doesn't have connection. So, There's also the Beats headphones, and they also come as wireless, and they also use the Bluetooth. And this comes with a small package, that's the adapter. And the adapter is supposed to help those who don't want the Bluetooth hair, or AirPods mm -hmm. and also the headphones. Yeah. Then they'll use them with their old devices. So that's it for the new iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. A question that I've been AirPods, asking myself. Can get, like, stolen, um, like. Well, they can easily get stolen, yeah, I think. They can, you can also easily I lose say. them. Yeah. But like I always say, it's not the far, it's not the newest invention in the world because we still have Bluetooth headsets. Nokia were uh, like some of the first people to do that. Well, that's debatable <laughs> because there's more information on that. And uh, the new Apple Watch Series 2 would also be released this week together with the Apple 7 and also the iPhone 7 and also the iPhone 7 Plus. Well, let's move to the sciences where the African Union is calling for applications for the Kwame Nkrumah Scientific Awards 2016. This is quite new to some people, but it's been around since 2008. Top African scientists are recognized and awarded yearly at the African Union Summit, and they receive a prize of $100,000. And this goes to two of the top scientists. Two winners are selected, and also their original awards and prizes, including youth awards and prizes. And I'm sure this uh, comes as a surprise to a lot of people because $100,000 is a lot of money. You can use it to uh, grow or develop your science background in your country. But so many people are not really aware of this. It reminds me of a science congress when you were in high school. 
uh, used to go for competitions and you'd win prize monies for having ideas. Uh, and you, uh, that no, 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 no. Hundred thousand dollars? Uh, when you when you went to the levels of the national, you won almost around uh, five hundred dollars. Well, that, that was a lot of money when I was growing up in high school. Motivation, inspirational, yeah. and you can get more information on this on AfricanNews.com. Now let's move to Kenya, where VW is back into the country after 39 years of absence. Uh, the Kenyan president Uhuru Kenyatta announced that Volkswagen South Africa will partner with a local company in Kenya to roll out the VW Vivo brand later this year. And this would help at least give jobs to people in the country and also make the car industry better. And they are going to assemble these cars in the country. We are still eager for a robust African vehicle manufacturing company to bring the African difference in the sector. And I hope to see cars being produced in Ghana, in Nigeria, in South Africa, and not only assembling of vehicles. Well, uh, Kenya already has, uh, we had uh, our own state-owned uh, state, uh, state -owned car assembly and car manufacturing company. They were called the, the Nyayo Pioneer. <laughs> what happened to them? Well, they are trying to revive the company right now. Well, we uh, hope it will be revived yeah, and also in other so. countries. The cars were so really tough. <laughs> That's interesting. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, there was Something somebody 100%. in uh, was it Ghana or Nigeria who was uh, making SUVs. Uh, There's one in Ghana. That was Ghana, right? Actually, it's uh, assembling of the cars okay. and assembling is a little different from manufacturing if you can yeah. put together the metals and create all these other parts of the cars locally mm -hmm. uh, right. it's going to help that's and manufacturing. On, on a lighter note bmw in south africa has also partnered with this uh, traditional art and craft uh, genius she's a very old lady and they're now doing the interior of the car with the colors of um, i've just seen the traditional wear of ghana with the yellowish uh, like pine Oui. They're like the, the, the colors of pine. Yeah, yeah, like in the interior now they're making it with the, that kind of uh, that kind of. That would be very design. beautiful having a kente. It is. I've, I've actually seen the pictures. Yeah. They've they've realized that uh, Africa is where they have to appeal to the African market, not just Absolutely. importing cars from uh, other the other other plants and bringing them here for us to use. Well, I hope uh, there will be some improvement when it comes to transport in the continent. Hopefully. Absolutely.